Forget about the virus. Forget about the Eastern conflict. There are much bigger news out. New York has been devastated by another tragedy. Not since 2001 have we seen anything like this. Rich girls are not getting the attention from a single boy. The internet has mourned these brave souls over the weekend who work hard being influencers and he knows after a second date that I do TikTok as a job and hunting for a rich husband. <laughs> Living in a mere two million dollar apartment with their parents' money, just hoping to find love in the Big Apple. West Elm Caleb has been on everyone's lips, figuratively and literally. Story goes that apparently some Chad, I mean in this case Caleb, has been matching with girls on a dating app and doing absolutely the worst thing. Ghosting. I mean the other thing. The, the, the worst thing. Not replying to their text messages. So anyways, this man randomly is like going MIA and I'm like asking if he wants to hang out. I'm like, hey, you want to hang out? You want to do anything? So he admits to ghosting Kelly. He admits to like ghosting everyone. I know it can be hard to believe that such cruelty still exists in this world, where most people have it all. <laughs> Screw it. I was going to sarcastically go through all of this, but it's just, it's just too annoying. I mean, supposedly this guy first showered the girls with love and affection through text messages. They were texting intensely for a while, and he is like love bombing her, even though they've never met up before, like have not gone on a first date. Praising them like a Turkish salesman trying to make a sale. I mean, I've dated online, but I've never done that personally since, frankly, sounding like DJ Khaled. I'm a, I'm a music mogul, right? I'm a producer, right? I'm a DJ, I'm an executive, I'm a CEO, um, and I'm an artist. Doesn't work for the girls I'm after, but I guess it works for some girls, which is why this West Elm Caleb was able to get many girls into him. Then he talked with some, saw some, and moved on. That's how I thought online dating works, but I guess the rules are different in certain parts of the world. In New York, it seems to be that unless you're rich and tall, and he's six foot four, you're trash. Girls can have an arsenal of men. So I matched with this boy on Hinge last week. I was like, okay, another dude to add to my arsenal, it's fine. But if you date multiple people, you need therapy. Maybe if somebody's a therapist, can they recommend themselves to him? If you send someone a Spotify playlist, you're a monster. She said, I dated him for the past six weeks, sent me a playlist. I was like, oh, cool. All the shit that I was worried about. I mean, if you're stupid enough to believe and fall for some guy who promises you the moon from the sky on <laughs> Tinder, maybe you're a part of the problem. Just maybe. If you think this love bombing thing is some sort of toxic masculinity gaslighting, maybe you're just stupid. And one last maybe, I promise this is the last one. If you receive a random dick pic, and he sends me a full mirror selfie um, with his face and his everything in it with his penis out. Get ghosted for a month. And then the next day proceeds to ghost me. Then still afterwards wanna meet up. Then he adds me on Snapchat, and I don't know why the fuck I was even entertaining giving him another chance. We were like, okay, maybe we'll get lunch or something. Also, most hip cool corporations who are cool with the youth have been jumping in on the train to trash this guy for having the audacity to try internet dating. I personally see two possibilities why this scenario became a thing. It's either the modern discourse raises its head out of the swamp and we can all feast our eyes on its true nature. Everyone is an individual and the hero of their own story, owing nothing to anyone around them, simultaneously deserving of care and attention from everyone else. Or it is more likely the other one, which is that a corporation came up with the next Netflix and chill type of uh, viral marketing campaign paid a couple of influencers some money and got their name out. I mean, having a meme with your business name on it, claiming that handsome, tall men work in your store and promoting it through influencers who live around your headquarters with a following of your most likely customer base, that isn't such a bad idea now, is it? 